Perfect. Thanks, Leon. Yeah, thanks, Leon. It's great to be part of the UK Hub Crawl this year for the first time. Uh, my name is Daniel Ford. I'm a relationship manager in the East Midlands covering the creative industry sector. I'm one of 20 regional champions we have across the country that David alluded to last week. Um, I'm a massive gamer myself. Started years and years ago playing the, the snares and even still got the original Game Boy. I managed to get hold of a PS5 somehow prior to Christmas. Um, so I've uh, been playing that. Um, I suppose franchises that I've liked playing over the years have been Uncharted, God of War, a um, bit of Pro Evolution Soccer. Um, and something that I suppose I I've seen change in the industry, which I, I find quite interesting, is how um, such franchises have become so popular that they're now becoming mm -hmm. films or, or TV series, whereas historically it was always the other way around, that a game would follow a film. Um, and also, I suppose, from an indie point of view, the games that are, that are becoming mainstream, uh, mainstream and accessible on consoles like Don't Starve, um, I think it's a real real platform now for, for creativity, which is, um, which is fantastic and, and more inclusive than it's ever been. Um, and from a Barclays perspective, you will have seen over recent weeks, having been on the, on the um, UK Hub Crawl, our um, focus on the sector and, and wanting to support the growth within it. Um, and Gavin's going to go into a bit more detail around how we're doing that on, on the funding uh, and the finance specific side um, in a minute. Um, away from that, um, I'd just like to give you a bit of an overview of kind of what else relationship managers are kind of doing in this in this um, industry. And I suppose it all starts with opening a bank account. Um, and that's where we kind of come to the fore and we, we collect all the information, we, we take all the identification and we kind of hold your hand throughout that process because there are, you know, um, I suppose, mis, um information around how long it takes to open an account and how complicated it can be and we, and we are here to just you know dispel all those rumors and just make it straightforward as possible um, and then once obviously onboarded um, you get a kind of plethora of access to the Eagle Labs um, we have dedicated servicing team for day-to-day -day queries um, payment solutions and then um, innovative partnerships um, with companies such as Market Finance who provide selective invoice discounting Along with other uh, other flexible funding solutions, so there's a massive um, massive focus from Barclays, and and we are here to support once you you come in to to to, um, to open an account. Um, and then I suppose one one more bit for me is just our resource. Uh, we have a um, games tech website which has got absolute you know vast amount of information on there, which is labs.uk.barclays forward slash games tech. Um, and that there's content around all different aspects of your process of um, starting out and, and growing the business. And I suppose it's people that have been in your position, whatever journey, part of the journey you're at. And I suppose highlighting um, information and bits and pieces that they found out so that you don't go through the same pain as them or, or that you have that insight beforehand. Um, so I suppose it, it's, it's something that, you know, we, we feel is um is very supportive and there's even a section around um raising capital which is obviously a, a focus of of this subject so on that note i'll pass over to gavin and he'll give you a bit more uh, around that cheers dan um yeah and i think there's some really great points there and uh i think just kind of echo some of the points that dan said in terms of highlighting the support that we want to give to the industry uh and obviously that sort of starts with sort of people like myself and dan and uh, so, to, you know, who are working sort of in uh, with other businesses within this industry, and we can really um, sort of help you from day one. Um, you know, whether that's something that we can do directly, or whether you know part of the external network that we have that we can sort of bring into play. Um, Dan mentioned a few there, sort of market finance or uh, sort of investors or whatever that may be that we could help sort of uh, open some discussions with. Um, so, one of the things that sort of as a bank that we can help with um, is an advance on your video games tax credit claims. So we created the products uh, about 18 months ago, went live last January. And I guess the, the, it wasn't always gonna be the main focus of what we we're gonna do in the, in the sector, but we thought it was important that, you know, we had something that was quite niche and specific for the games industry. So how it works is if you've had, um, let's say your financial year is January to December, you've got, you've done X amount of spend 
up to sort of middle of the year. You're thinking I could really use that, um, you know, that uh, so you're part of that tax credit now um, to help you with your working capital, um, you know, whether that's for just, you know, general day-to-day working capital or for actually putting towards the development of a game. You know, it could be used in whatever way you need, uh, whatever you need it for, really. So, um, so how that works is we you know, we need a copy of your uh, interim BFI certificate. Uh, we have uh, a number of accountants who are experts in so when it comes to tax credit, um, who can put together what we call an opinion letter, which basically will detail to us how much you've spent, how much of that spend is qualifying, and what the estimated tax credit will be. And then we can look to advance up to 90% of that. So it's a very different type of product to sort of any other sort of normal banking loan or overdraft that, you know, that we offer. Uh, it's very niche. It's very particular for this industry. And, um, you know, it's, I was able to help out a few clients last year and, you know, they really got the benefit of getting those funds in early uh, in order to help with the sort of their working capital cycle uh, and to put towards the development of their game. So, and a couple of other bits, you know, we've probably seen so much in uh, in the news around sort of acquisition is kind of huge at the moment in the, in the industry. So we also have a very specific uh, acquisition finance um, product where we can help you with that. Um, I appreciate, you know, some of these outlays could be a, you know, a huge amount of cash up front. Um, you know, it's part of your business plan to grow and, you know, to bring in, you know, maybe another studio or, you know, that might be part of that plan. So that's something we can also discuss with you. Um, so I appreciate that as a sort of a, a whistle-stop tour of us, I guess, the two key areas where we're helping uh, businesses at the moment. Um, but I'll, as Leon said, I'll be around, myself and Dan will be around in Gathertown afterwards. So just come grab us, any questions, let us know. Um, and yeah, we're, we're here to help. We're here to answer any questions you may have. Uh, and if it's something, as I said, that we may not be able to support with, there's some great other speakers that are coming up who may be able to help. And also we can use our wider, um, you know, connections to, to, yeah, to help you with whatever you may need. So yeah, that's it from us. And um, Leon, thanks again for, for having us today. And um, yeah, I look forward to hearing the rest of the speakers.